Well, joining us now in the studio with another In the Legal No is Vincent J. Russo. And today we're going to focus on part two of the players in an estate. Right, Vincent? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. uh, so last week, mm -hmm. what we talked about in one's estate is these legal terms that everybody really needs to become familiar with. And so we talked about a testator, uh, and we talked about um, how the family members are considered from a legal standpoint as a surviving spouse and as a child. So we're going to expand the family mm -hmm. to include the players when there's actually an estate administration. So when someone passes away, um, their assets have to be collected, maintained and distributed. Debts have to be paid. Uh, funeral expenses have to be taken care of. So that's an estate administration. So now we're going to get into the terminology. Okay. So the number right. one you, that you gave me that I'm going to give to you is right. probate. Right. So probate is the process of filing your will with the court, the probate court in New York, the surrogates court. And then the judge has to determine whether the will is valid and appoint an executor. So a will is not valid until it's probated. Hmm. Uh, that's really important to understand. Yeah, okay, I have no idea. Yeah, okay. so, then, <laughs> so then an executor gets appointed mm -hmm. and they're issued what are called letters testamentary. It's a little certificate that says you are the executor and now you have this job of administering the estate. Uh, so an executor's job, again, is to find out where the assets are, collect them all, uh, take control over them, follow the terms of the will, and distribute the, the assets of that estate to the beneficiaries. Now, that person could be the executor that was chosen earlier? Correct. Okay. Named, so, so you have a will, mm -hmm. and you name an executor, and hopefully you name a successor executor just in case the executor is not around when you pass away. And so you name that person, and now the court blesses them, so to speak, okay. and appoints them. And now they're in charge, and they have to. They have this job, and they're they're responsible to make sure everything is taken care of. Typically, the executor will hire a lawyer to then advise the executor on what mm -hmm. they need to do. Okay, um, you, you just mentioned this testator. Right. So the testator is the will maker, the person who creates the will and then passes away. They're called the testator. Okay. Uh, and so the testator's will is probated. Now. The next question that follows is what happens if there is no will? All right, so if there's no will, there's still in a state administration proceeding. So someone has to file in court again and ask the judge to appoint an administrator. And then that administrator acts like an executor and is responsible for dis collecting the assets, paying the debts. You always have to pay the debts mm -hmm. before you distribute the assets. Okay. So and uh, an administrator would be appointed if you have no will. Correct. Okay. And then that's going to be up to the judge to decide who the appropriate person is. So if there's a surviving spouse, that might be the right person or children, um, but it's up to the judge. That's why having a will, you control who you're appointing. Without a will, it's... And without a will, I, I'm guessing it, it would just take so much longer, all of this. Um, it, could, it could take longer, yeah. yes. Okay. Mm. Let's talk about beneficiary. Okay, so we have beneficiaries. So we have a beneficiary as a person named under a will who is to receive assets um, under that will. A beneficiary is someone who's named uh, to receive um, assets that pass by operation of law. What that means is you have an, an account and you name a beneficiary. Let's say you have a pay-on-death bank account or you have a 401k plan and name a, name a beneficiary, or you have a life insurance policy and you name a beneficiary. So the beneficiary is the person who is entitled to receive assets. And you can have several, right? Yes. I mean, if you have you know, three children, right. they will be your beneficiaries? Yes, okay. and you have to be really careful how you name them to make sure that they're gonna inherit the right amount mm -hmm. <laughs> that you decide on. So what is a uh, contingent? Beneficiary. Okay, so the contingent beneficiary is kind of like on the baseball team. It's the person in the dugout who's not playing, mm -hmm. but at any time they may be stepping in. Okay. So, so a beneficiary is named. Now, what happens if that beneficiary dies before 
the principal, the owner of that account dies, well, naming a contingent beneficiary makes sense. So if you have a, uh, an IRA account and you name your um, spouse, let's say, as the beneficiary, you would likely name your children, if you have children, as contingent beneficiaries. So if the spouse wasn't alive, the contingent beneficiaries step in. Okay. Let's talk about guardians, which you touched on last week. But right. Okay. Yeah. So guardians uh, come, to, uh, come into play here when you have parents with minor children in New York under age 18. So if a parent passes away and there's a surviving parent, that surviving parent continues to be responsible and, and legally uh, in charge of that child, so mm -hmm. to speak. All right, but if there's no surviving parent, then a guardian has to be named. So it's important for younger people to have wills if they're married and have children. And in that will, they name a guardian just in case something happens to the two of them mm -hmm. and, and a successor guardian just in case that guardian is not available. Very quickly, if there is no guardian named, what happens? Back to the judge. Okay. okay. The judge is going to now have the discretion to figure out what makes sense who is coming into court and asking to be named, uh, and the judge will make a decision. You know, you always stress how important it is to have a will. Talk yes. to a lawyer, get a will. Uh, your advice always so important to many of us. Yeah, I mean, most people don't have wills. Mm -hmm. um, you know, very the minority of us have wills, which it's is really yes, okay. which doesn't make sense. Okay. All right. <laughs> so. Today, go home. If you don't have a will, get the will done. That's right. Okay. The best advice from Vincent. Vincent, thank you so much for joining us, finishing up this two-part series. Yes. And uh, we appreciate all your information all the time. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.